Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings It's Sunday, and that means it's race time here in Spa. As the cars are being prepared, let's join them trackside for the start of the Belgian Grand Prix. So here we are once again, ready to go racing through the Ardennes forest. 4.35 miles of long straights, fast corners, and massive elevation changes. It makes this not only one of the most exciting circuits on the calendar, but one that makes for some consistently high quality racing as well. Simply put it, there's no place quite like it. So with the race not far away from starting, here's what today's grid rundown looks like. An immense lap from Lewis Hamilton yesterday puts him on pole position, just ahead of George Russell, who starts this event from P2. Considering the rest of the grid, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Sergio Perez, and Sainz, Gasly, Ocon, Fernando Alonso, and Kevin Magnussen, Bottas, Joe, Yuki Tsunoda, and Mick Schumacher, Stroll, Latifi, Daniel Ricciardo and Sebastian Vettel. Norris and Alex Albon picks up the last spot on the grid. And with lights out just moments away, it's time to go down to the track. And joining me once again in the commentary box today is, of course, former World Endurance Champion, Anthony Davidson. Now, I want to ask you about Lewis Hamilton. Well, it was a really impressive lap in qualifying to get pole position, but are they going to be able to hold on to the lead into the first corner with so many quick starters around them? Besides that, of course, any kind of turn one incident could completely turn the race on its head. Let's keep our fingers crossed everyone can get through in one piece.
photons. You're leading the pack, that's P1. Hamilton behind you now. Our gap behind is 2.2 seconds. They're on fresh soft. Pit strategy complete. See these tyres through to the end now. Come on, just three laps to go, three laps. Stappen's behind. OK, so the gap to the car behind is 2.2 seconds. They're on fresh stop. Look after these tyres now, and you want to finish the race on this compound. Two laps left. Next time by will be your final lap.
for that one. Congratulations, well done. Many doubted whether they could pull off the win here at Spa-Francorchamps, but they've done so in spectacular style. Well, Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today, but what set them apart from the rest? Well, I honestly feel it was down to the driver and car today. I mean, we can talk driver skill all day, but if you don't have a solid team to back that, you're never going to get anywhere. When you hit that sweet spot of having both an excellent driver and an incredible car, that's when you see results like those we witnessed today. Looking at the podium, you can see that red suit familiar to fans across the globe. A world-class win for a world-class team. Ferrari, do it again. Now, let's discuss Ant. Who would you say is a contender for driver of the day? Charles Leclerc showed exactly how to manage yourself out on the track.